All right, so you guys, um, welcome to the Team Eagle organization Zoom meeting, and this is going to be our spring launch. Super excited for you all to see um, all the new products, and so what we're going to do is, um, so first, want to make sure that everybody can mute yourself if you are in a place with any background noise whatsoever. So that means if you have a dog, if you have a kid, if you have a husband, if you have a TV, any of those kind of noises pick up on the Zoom. And so just wanted to let y'all know that every time that you move your phone, if you move your screen and things like that, it does get picked up. So the easiest way is to just to go ahead and just, um, just unmute yourself. And then when you're ready to talk, you can unmute. And that helps just so that everybody has a good experience with the meeting. So, um, so let me go ahead and share our screen and, and we can get going. So, um, let me move this always. Oop, hold on you guys, just a second. Bear with me. Okay. So, all right. So welcome to our spring launch, you guys. And so we're going to start with a little bit of introductions and oops, hold on. Um, so, first of all, oh, that was right. Okay, so first of all, we wanna welcome our new team members. So we've got, um, in the past month, so in January, we had 10 new team members. We've got Deanna Brazanovich, Laura Risen, um, Abby Sellers, Tabitha Hudson, Jennifer Hudson, Hutchinson, Valentina Carrar, and I apologize, you guys, if I butcher your name, um, Sherry Sievert, Ashley Nelson, Huida, and that was one that um, I was, um, I wasn't sure if that's pronounced correctly. Is that right, Wida? Wida? It's Wida, but she actually goes by Lynn. But you're you're pronouncing it correctly. Wida Walker, and then April Hill. So congratulations, welcome to our team, and welcome to um and congratulations to all of our members that shared the opportunity with you. And so I want to share with you guys. Right now, I want to recognize our team for everything you did to make January so amazing. Do you realize that as an organization in January, we sold $138,636.63. That is a lot of food shoppers. <laughs> and so um, we also added 10 new consultants to our organization. And nothing makes me more proud than to know that we are sharing the opportunity, sharing paper chef with others and helping them reach their dreams and goals. And as you all know, this business is life changing and sharing it with others is something that we all need to be doing. So right now I'd like to recognize um, those of you that helped us reach our team goal. So if you are active in the month of January, meaning that you sold at least $150, Raise your hand or comment or something so that we can recognize it. Yay. Yay to everybody. So yay. Look at all those hands being raised. It's so exciting. And lots yeah, of I, yeah. And then I, there is some background noise that somebody who's talking and has a TV in the background. So, all right. So fantastic. Um, so now, um, just a couple of, we're going to do a little bit of announcements before we get started and then we'll show you the new products. Oh, I'm, hey, Melody. Yes. Can you, maybe you can just mute everyone and then if someone can, wants to come out, they can unmute. Yeah. The reason I don't like doing that is because all the people that are, if you're on like a phone or something, if they, um, want to talk. So, but usually I can pinpoint, um, of where. Okay. There's just a lot of noise. It's really annoying. Yeah. Let me, I'll go ahead and mute. So those of you that did not mute yourself, actually here, let me do this and see who is unmuted. Um, and so the ones that are on actually, well, okay. there you go. So y'all got yourself muted. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, okay. So starting out now, um, so wanted to share that our new director bound is going to be starting on February 13th and it's going to be on Wednesday nights at 9 PM. And these are 30 minute calls. And then Angela, I didn't see if Angela was on, but are you here, Angela? I'm here. Okay. So good. Angela, um, I asked Angela if she would share cause she's been in the director bound program this time around and we're about halfway through. And so Angela, can you share what the director bound has done for you? Director Bound has been amazing. It's very informative. Um, it gives you the confidence that you need to get uh, motivated to become a director. 
Um, I I don't know what I would do. I've I've already recruited one um, and looking to recruit more. And the group itself has has been perfect for helping me advance. So I love it. Okay. So if you're interested in Director Ballon, you can um, check with your leader to see um, and ask what it takes to be in the Director Bound, if that's something that is a goal of yours to move forward in the new year. Um, and then also we have an opportunity event that's this Saturday at 9 a.m. So if you know anybody that you think could benefit from this opportunity, definitely share it with them. And so um, it can help to, um, just for them to learn all about what we have to offer and it's going to be a live event on as um it will be on facebook and so they, they can ask questions get all their questions answered um right there 9 a.m eastern time i apologize for that it is 9, 9 a.m eastern time and i will be posting that on the team eagle organization page with the link to join in on that so good deal for that and then make sure again check in with your director to see if you have something different because some directors do their own programs and so um, your director may have something that that he or she is already doing so check with your director and see which way to go so all right so are you guys ready so who's ready to see some new products so yay okay so I need to stop this and bring up the video that we were going to share and um and so let me see if this is going to be the right video no this is not the right video hold on let me pull up the right video um all right now let's try it again all right so can you all see this video okay <laughs> Okay, so was that fast enough for y'all? <laughs> All right, so I know that that was super fast. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be focusing on two of the products tonight. And so we want to, um, to really give you all the best, um, the best of the best so that y'all can um, know what to do. And okay, so what did y'all see that um, you're excited about? The batter thing, the thing that you squeeze. Uh, yes, the batter dispenser. And is Audrey on here, Kelly? I'm sorry. I don't see her, but I just sent, and I just sent her a text. Okay, so great. So, yes. Um, so we do, we want to start, like, we've got some prizes that we want to give away. And so, Tracy, yeah, if you, you want to do that, you're welcome to do that. Um, pull this up. I'm going to make a switch here. And so, and yes, guys, those wine tumblers are amazing. They're insulated. Um, I compare them to a Yeti. They keep your cold drinks cold and your hot drinks hot for a really long time. I saw the tumblers as well, and I like them. Hi, Dina. Okay. All right, guys, who is ready for our first prize? 
All right. I'm doing a random drawing. I cannot see anything that I'm doing here. And I'm going to pick somebody. You have to be present on this call to win. So if I call out your name and you're not here, I'm so sorry, but you don't get the prize. All right. Let's see. I've got Chrissy Starman. Are you on the call, Chrissy? Chrissy Starman? Anybody? I think she's working tonight. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to the next prize winner. All right, hold on. Let me pick another one. Angela Tovar, you're on, right? I'm Angela. Here. Yay, woohoo! I crossed you're my getting, fingers. You're getting the first prize of the night. Yay! I'm excited. I don't know yeah. what you're getting, but you're getting something. <laughs> I'm all awesome. surprised. It's a surprise. Melody's going to give me a hard time. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be making General Tso chicken stir fry. And so um, this new season's vest is what I'm most excited about because it's a way that you can really work on eating healthy with your family. And so, um, so if you can see the cover of this, um, and, oh, and okay, so see the cover of this um, with all the different recipes. I'm loving all the freshness. And um, so we're going to start off by making a sauce. And so make sure if you unmuted that you mute yourself because there's lots of background noise. All right. So, um, so the first of the sauce, I went ahead and mixed everything up and I'm going to add one more piece of garlic. And so we're going to go ahead and get this, this wok heated. Um, so telling you a little bit about cookware. Um, so our stainless cookware is first, <laughs> Jessica. Jessica, I think you're unmuted. Okay, so um, okay, so this is um, so if you have not used the fabs, do you, you can't hear me? Trace, I just got a text that says you can't hear me. Can we you can hear, hear you me? now? You're good now. Okay, is it because I was too far away? I think no, it was I think the, it was because we were picking up a TV in the background. Yeah, it was okay. me. My bad. My child hit my button on my speaker thing. It's all good. Okay. So this, um, so these fabs, if you all check this out, this fabs is great for learning all about a product. So every single one of the new products and even the products from last season have these fabs. So I'm going to share with you some of the words and um, cause about the walk. And so I'm actually, I want to read this right from the page because I want you to see why, um, why you should use the fabs and you can use it at your show. You can print this off. You can talk about it. You can read it. You can um, record yourself saying it, whatever you want to do. But um, first of all, are stainless cookware, anybody afraid of using stainless cookware? Cause that was always me. Cause I was always somebody that burned something stuff. And so, um, so if you've never used stainless because of how hard it is, or many of you may have used stainless pan before and had the hardest time cleaning up the bits of food from the pan. So our stainless cookware is unique. It has a mesh grid that lets you sear food and make sauces and cleanup. Um, the cleanup is just as easy as nonstick. There are no rivets for food to stick. And yes, it's dishwasher safe too. So um, just like with our nonstick cookware, you can even use metal utensils on them and not hurt their performance. Our stainless steel cookware is made with the highest performance PFOA free non-stick mesh grid. The mesh pattern minimizes the exposed steel, letting you get the perfect sear every time with ease. There's no need to be intimidated by our stainless. So second, look, there's no rivets on this pan. So um, cleanup is a breeze. Plus our stainless steel non-stick cookware can go into the dishwasher. Yes, our cookware is dishwasher thick. We have two size skillets as well as this new wok, and they all come with their own glass lids. Why glass? So you can see inside without removing the, glit, the lid. Our glass lids even go in the oven up to 500 degrees. No more messy foil. We, um, and then you wanna go for the yes by saying, a good set of cookware is what I call the fifth appliance in every kitchen. You have the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the microwave, and the stove. Investing in these makes life in the kitchen a whole lot better, right? Well, all our cookware has a lifetime guarantee. So combine that with the amazing performance and benefits, it's worth the investment. So I'm excited to say that Pamper Chef is offering, offering all of our cookware open stock. You can pick the right pieces from both our non-stick cookware 
line and our stainless steel cookware line. Our cookware is a great value at full price, but if you're interested in getting it um, for half price, give me a nudge tonight because our hosts never pay full price. I'd love to show it off in your kitchen with your friends and family too. So you guys can notice that these, the wok has um, high sloped walls and a flat bottom. It's going to help you get the best, um, it's going to help you to, to get the, um, oh, sorry. It has, um, the walls are taller and straighter than others on the market, which is going to provide a larger cooking area and keep this flatter in the pan. And the flared rims make pouring easy and keep stovetops and counters free of drips. So um, that was something else I wanted to share. And you guys, the important thing when you're cooking with this cookware um, or any of our cookware is never cook above medium high. That is what causes your cookware to discolor and it will ruin the warranty. So, all right, so we've got our pan heated up. I'm like, I don't know what to do with my lid. I don't know. I'm going to set it over here. All right. So what did you just do? Okay. So, um, so first we've got our sauce going. I've also got, um, I went ahead. Oh, I'm going to add one more garlic clove. That's what I was going to do. So I'm adding in one more piece of garlic into here, into that sauce. And if you aren't familiar with the garlic press, or if you guys um, haven't ever used it, you don't have to, um, I'm so, such a messy cook. You don't have to peel it before you put it in here. So just put the whole clove in there and just like that. So, all right, I'm gonna stick that in the dishwasher. Rather. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our chicken cooking. So, so I've got the chicken in the pan. We're gonna add in a quarter of a cup of this. A fourth a cup of um, cornstarch. And then we also have um, adding in a little bit of oil into the pan to go ahead and get that heated up. Well, that was a lot more than a little bit, but that's okay. All right. So there was one other thing that goes with this, a oh, one tablespoon of the um, of this sauce. So you're gonna put just a little bit of the sauce in here. A little bit less, okay. So, all right, so we're gonna mix that up and, and then we're gonna throw this into the pan. So, oh, she does. I will tell you, I'm the messiest cook um, that there ever was. My husband gets so mad because he, when he cooks, he cleans as he goes and I don't. And so I end up with a whole bunch of stuff. So, all right, so our chicken coming in here. And um, so it's kind of got it coated. And then we're just gonna dump that in the pan and let it start to cook. Hey, Melody, while you're uh, getting the chicken going, can we give out another prize? Sure, go for it. Okay, um, the next person is Karen Wilson. Are you on? Karen Wilson? Yep. All right, next. Okay. Um, Got to pick somebody else without looking. Darcy. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to say her name wrong. You're Saki. You're Saki, yeah. Is she on? Dorothy, are you on? Oh my goodness, all these people are missing out on prizes. Okay, next. Michelle Ponce. Yes, Michelle is on. All right, Michelle is our next winner. Okay, Okay. back to Melody. While we start to get this cooking, I want to show you all about the food grader. Now, so if you have seen the one that we had in the past, it was a mess. It was a hot mess. But this one, love it. What they did is they redesigned the feet on this to where the feet are wide apart. And so you know that it's not going to tilt. It actually stays suction. And what I love is the little suction feet come off. So if you have trouble getting it off, you can um, work with that. So that was one thing I had. Also has this big, huge bowl with cup measurements on it. So if you need to know how much you need to grate, you can use that. We have three different attachments. And depending on what you're going to use them for, you've got your grater, which is going to be your fine grate, just like um, our other graters, where you would use it for chocolate or use it for harder cheese and such. Um, and then we also have this grater, which um, this is a coarse grater. You're going to use this for um, for things like um, we're going to use it. Let me think. Oh, what are we using that for tonight? We're using this one for carrot. So the coarse grater for carrot, you can also use it for cheese different vegetables, and then if you want to slice, then we're going to use this to slice our onions, um, to slice our, um, you know, like zucchini and different stuff like that. So, all right, so we're getting this nice and brown. And the idea is when you're doing stir fry, it's a fast 
cooking. So you want to make sure that you're um, staying on top of it all the time so you don't want to walk away because it's going to be a higher temperature, so it's going to cook faster. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grate the carrot. So I'm going to use the coarse grate for the carrot. I'm going to pull out. And to use this to attach it, we are going to turn it counterclockwise. I think it's the way it goes. It's going to clockwise. So, oh, there it goes, clockwise, and now it's, off, it's on there, and we're going to flip it over. It even has a little guard here, and I'm going to pull my carrot out, and so we're going to have to throw all of our carrots, and it has two pieces of the hopper. Now, this hopper, um, you can see it's planted, so when it's planted, you can just throw all of it in there and kind of help it to go through. So I'm going we don't want our chicken cooked all the way through. We basically just want to sear the edges. So it's getting kind of close, getting a little more soft while I do the carrot. And then watch this, you guys. Oh, my issue is it's in the way of my thing over here. Okay, ready? I'm trying to see if the carrot is. Can y'all see him coming out? I think the different sizes of my carrot are making it messed up. Let's set it. There it goes. Woo! Going everywhere. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, not the pieces anywhere. So in these pieces that are in there that come out, what you can do is you can stick them back through again and grate those. Like that, all right. So we are gonna take our carrots, I'm gonna get a bowl and put these in them. Because the carrots are going to be, the carrots and there's a couple other things that are gonna go in here at the same time. Okay, so we'll get those out of the way and then we're gonna actually switch the blades. Now, what I found, if I take this off, put my fingers right at the edge, make sure not to touch it. And, oh, I think you're right. Tracy did use a towel. There we go. Just to get it to start going. Because once, once you can get it going, then it's not so bad. But trying to get it going. Now, the other thing that I really love and appreciate about this one versus the one we had before is that um, the cleanup of it is a lot easier. So, all right. So, directors that are on here that have used this, I know Tracy, you said this is like your favorite thing. So what what are you using it for? I absolutely love this tool. I have been using it like crazy. Um, I think my family thinks I'm crazy because I keep shredding everything. Um, <laughs> cheese. I shredded four pounds of cheese in like less than two minutes. It was crazy and it was so easy. It just it's just really easy to use. It's very it's very ergonomic. It's very user friendly. It doesn't take a lot of strength or pressure. So if you have somebody who is arthritic um, or they can't get a, a grip, a grip on the thing, um, it's perfect for them. Because I know I've I've had a lot of customers that can't hold on to um, the microplane. So for those people, this is perfect because it doesn't take any strength. It just it's so easy. Um, zucchini, carrots, cabbage. Um, Pretty much anything. I did the slices with cucumbers too, and that was a lot of fun. I just kind of did that as an experiment. Um, but like Melody said, it's very easy to clean. I do recommend if you're selling one of these, do your customer a favor and offer them the cleaning brush for five dollars because <laughs> that should be sold with every one of these because it really makes cleaning it even easier. Um, but the blades okay. go right in the dishwasher, so that's really easy to do. What did you say, offer? The cleaning brush, the cleaning tool should come with. Oh. You should always offer that. Same with the spiralizer. So there went all of, um, so I just did the onion. So sticking the onion in here. And then now we're sticking in the zucchini. And uh, okay. so sticking zucchini in here to splice the zucchini. Look at that, you guys. Melody, you are going to separate amazing. out your vegetables. They go in the pan at different times. Yes, I have. Um, Mm. The zucchini oh. goes in later, the onion goes in earlier. Yeah, I have that. Um, and I had it separated out before. I actually put it on my little list over here to do it separately. Okay, thank you. I mean, people that keep me in check. Okay, 
So ready? So then we're gonna bring this back. Actually, is the chicken staying in or go inside out? It comes out. Goodness gracious. All right. Y'all, I did look at this before then. So, all right. All right, so let's pull the chicken out. And we're going to add in, it does have a little bit of oil. And, So we get our oil, and then we're adding in our onions, right? Onion, carrot, and bell pepper. Okay. So there's that, and let's see if we can get the zucchini. And I have the bell peppers already spliced, so I did try to, to save time with that. And okay, so those of you who are seeing this for the first time, what are you excited about doing with this? Um, with this new grater? Everything. <laughs> Everything, be specific. The onions and carrots and... And so you guys, so if you sold 1,500 in January, you are getting this new walk. So how about that? So how exciting is that? So raise your hand or throw out some excitement if you will be getting the new walk. Stephanie, this is gonna be great for sloth. Yes. Okay, so coming up next is going to be our um, cabbage. So the cabbage is going to be sliced with a slicer. So ready for this? Oh, I didn't put the little thingy back on. Oh my gosh. If y'all could see what the floor looks like right now, this is pretty funny. So, um, super exciting. All right, and so we're going to take that back out. I will take those chunks back out and run it back through. So, all right. All right, so there we go. And all right, so we're sauteing this, and then we're going to be adding in the rest of our vegetables here in just a minute. And yeah, get messy up in here now. Right. Inside your catalog, when you get your catalog, um, make sure to look look through at all the different um, uses and features. Also, make sure to download the fab so you can use the fab. Um, and so, all right, onion, carrot, bell pepper, zucchini with the peas. Oh, Thank you. The peas are going in. And then the cabbage, and the cabbage is going to go last. And then the chicken was supposed to go back in, wasn't it? Uh, cook the vegetables for another two to three minutes, then add the chicken, the sauce, and the cabbage, and then cook for another three or four minutes. All right. Okay. So we are going to this. All right. So you can see how gorgeous it looks. And adding in, um, so we're going to add in the chicken, we're going to add in um, the slaw, and then also um, in the middle of this, you put rice. And if you all haven't ever used a rice cooker, love, love, love. Um, so it comes out perfect rice every time, so then you're going to serve it over top of the rice. All right. So we're ready, so here we go. And add it, add it back in. All right. So with that, while this finishes cooking, I am going to head back over to the computer. Can we do another and, prize? Huh? Can we do another prize? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Is, here we go. Stephanie Shaner. Woohoo, Stephanie. Yay. She's on, yay, yay Stephanie. Stephanie. So, all right, so I'm putting in the sauce. All right, so 
It's a yummy, yummy. Doesn't that look so yummy, you guys? Does that look good or what? So, okay. So it's going to be amazing. Huh? That looks amazing. Yes. So fresh and healthy and um, so, all right, so I'm going to let it finish cooking and I'm going to move over and then we're going to, um, so we've got some, we're going to hear from some other consultants. Okay. So let's see, I'm going to log out. So if I knew how to leave. Okay. So here we go, you guys. So, let me get this started. And ooh, that was hard work. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. I just want to yeah. say that that the the grater. I know I have to say. What? And oops. I was just going to talk about the grater while you're doing that for a minute. Go for it. Um, so the grater is going to solve so many problems for our customers, and I can't wait to share that with them because they can prep so much at one time and then put it in the leak-proof container or in a batter bowl and it's ready to go for the week. So it's gonna save them time so that if they need to shred carrots, they just do it once and it's done. So I think that that's gonna really be um, appealing to a lot of our guests because they're trying to cook in such a short window of time. I'm just gonna say I'm excited about the beef. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Jessica. Okay. It showed that I was muted. Muted. Um, I'm excited for the V-shaped baking pans to hold my tacos. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because we made tacos tonight and I used the V-shaped pans. It was great. It worked out beautifully. Yeah, okay, here we go. Can y'all hear this? See it? When I think about the whole product line, what I see is a lot of variation. It's not just focused on uh, just fresh, right? But there's so much fresh things that we can do. And it's not. The sound just went out. You can get sweet and savory from the, from the bubble good now? pan, right? Yeah. Um, you can get sweet and savory from the V-shaped pan. So it's fun that you can think outside of the box and there's so much versatility and you can get creative in your kitchens. And it's, it's a really exciting place to be right now. I think there's something for everybody, like mm -hmm. you were saying, you know, somebody who loves to cook dinner every night, they're gonna really love the wok or mm -hmm. for our bakers, mm -hmm. uh, the batter mixer. I mm -hmm. think there's just a lot of really great pieces in there. Mm -hmm. How about the person who doesn't even really wanna cook but just wants their food to look beautiful, the, so the the stone yes. 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 yes, that's going to be wonderful. They're solving problems mm -hmm. for our everyday needs in our kitchen. I am so excited this season about the stainless nonstick wok. I love our stainless nonstick collection. I think this is just going to really be a great addition and help some of the larger families or people that love to do stir fries and saucy food. I agree, Sarah. The depth of the walls on the wok really lets you pack in even more yes. You know, deliciousness in that in that stainless steel. And I think everyone who has the 10 inch and 12 inch already are already in love with those. So, the add, so to be able to add this new addition to that collection is going to be a huge benefit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So what I'm going to do for all the customers that I know already have purchased this product, I'm going to reach out to them and let them know the new addition mm -hmm. to that collection mm -hmm. and all the benefits that I have seen over the last couple of months of using it. It is definitely a must have because there are so many things that you're going to be able to do in this walk that you are not able to do in the 12 inch and the 10 inch. I'm excited to go live on my Facebook group page because yes. I, yeah, have you guys shown the, yes. the, the 12 inch you know, skillet before live. Mm -hmm. So how fun is it going to be for them to now see this addition to that 12 inch skillet and show them this, the wok and the same material. I think it's going to be really exciting to show them how you can cook and how much you can get done in that big wok. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun project to go live with them. I think this will translate well <laughs> to virtual parties too, because you can hop on with a live demo and stir fries quick. Mm -hmm. So you can already have those veggies prepped, mm -hmm. everything ready to go, and then throw it all in the wok. And I think it's going to fit into a lot of different um, meal plans, yes. whether it's you know keto or vegan, mm -hmm. vegetarian, because they can do lots of different veggies mm -hmm. and things like that mm -hmm. as well.
Absolutely. Yeah. And to open their eyes as to what a wok could be used for. It could be so much more than stir fry. Yeah, yeah absolutely. to show them some delicious recipes that yeah. uh, test kitchens have whipped up for us. Of the new season, I think the first thing I'm going to do in Facebook Live is probably the butter dispenser <laughs> because we, as a family of six, we make a lot of muffins, we make a lot of pancakes, so we're baking a lot just because I've got growing kids and they eat a lot. And this is super fun because I can use it, my kids can use it, my husband can use it, and I'm not dirtying up a million dishes because that's what normally happens at my house. So I can really talk to them about how this is going to save so much space and save time washing dishes and, and doing all those things. I think that's probably the first thing I'm going yeah. to do. Well, you guys probably know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely going to present our new stoneware entertaining collection, the new addition to that piece. And I will definitely tap into all of my customers who are just as much in love with those pieces as I am. Um, I'm going to tap into that uh, group of individuals who love to entertain, whether you're using it, you know, during the holidays or game days. It's just such a versatile piece that I think everyone has to have in their kitchen. So that so you will have to tell us. I'm sure you've been thinking. It. What's going to be the first thing you're going to show on that stoneware? You know, I would probably say a game day recipe mm -hmm. because in my house, I live with four, three men <laughs> and we watch a lot of football and a lot of games. And mm -hmm. so I love to do recipes and different things and appetizers mm -hmm. that I could display on that. And it just looks absolutely amazing. So even though it's a very elegant piece that you can make as fancy as you want it, you could also downsize it to, uh, or downplay it to, you know, just everyday game day. Totally. It's a nice piece because it, it dresses <laughs> up dinner time, mm -hmm. just everyday meals that you're having with your family. Yeah. It's a fun way to just dress it up and make mm -hmm. it special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it different. Yeah. I have to say the tacos. Oh, the tacos, the tacos. are so <laughs> fun to serve on the yeah. taco bar. I had it out for my family and my son had his friend over and we were just all diving into this beautiful platter of, mm -hmm. you know, the salsa chicken with all the fixings around it and the, par and the pretzels because, you know, you can do the one cup pretzels right. and they fit perfectly mm -hmm. around there. And then we took our hard shell tacos from that V-shaped pan. It's like yes. perfect, right? Yes. And had it all on one platter. Super fun. The quick prep food grater is really going to be a piece that we can utilize at our shows and even virtual parties. I think we're really going to be able to help our customers mm -hmm. with uh, meal prep. Mm -hmm. You can do so many different kinds of vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, even great cheese and chocolate with the three different blades that it offers. Mm -hmm. And what I really like is that it has the big food container mm -hmm. with the measure marking. So if a recipe calls for, you know, two cups of cabbage, you don't have to get out of another bowl. You can just look down and see when it hits and then dump that right into your recipe because it has the nice handle on it to pour as well. Mm -hmm. I was a little nervous when this one came out. You know, we've had some some greater stuff in the past, and um, I it really like exceeded my expectations. Truly, exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was going to do. I think it does a good job of consolidating a lot of different tools into one. And um, I think it's going to be such a power tool for people to use in their kitchens for prepping for just saving so much time. I think my favorite part was grating cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I could not agree more. <laughs> I love cheese. And we do a lot of mac and cheese at my house, homemade mac and cheese. And so mm -hmm. I'm constantly grating mm -hmm. those blocks of cheese mm -hmm. on the, the coarse grater. Right. And this just plowed through it so mm -hmm. quickly. So quickly. Well, the fact that you can take the whole block yes, and, just and just put it right in there rather down, than cutting yes. it out before you grate mm -hmm. it, that was, that was key. I definitely could see also this being uh, incorporated into a show mm -hmm. for lots of different uh, recipes. Uh, and I think once people see it, um, it definitely is going to be very impressive. So the fact of how quick and easy that you can do vegetables, um, whether it's veggies or whether you're doing cheese or whatever the need is, I think will really bring it home for a lot of customers and make getting those meals on the table so much quicker and easier. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about the new recipes. My favorite is that the primavera mm -hmm. with all of those veggies mixed in and that yummy pasta and the sauce. Mm -hmm. I was questioning it a little bit when I first saw it because I was like, are my kids going to eat all those veggies? And they dug in. They totally didn't pay any attention to how many vegetables were in there. They just ate it yeah. and it was delicious.
I really love that the recipes this season are so like fresh, delicious, and packed full of flavor. Yes. That was something I really noticed as we were trying different recipes. My husband would comment on how much flavor, you know, the particular recipe had. And I think there's so many selections that we're going to be able to use at parties because they utilize so many power tools and uh, so many of the new products mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I would say our favorite recipe was the uh, shrimp and quinoa fried rice. We were obsessed with that one. <laughs> Because you sub out the rice for the quinoa, and so it cuts the carbs back, but it was just packed full of so much flavor, and you got to use the new uh, wok. So how I plan to use the, um, the power prepping theme for this season, it, for virtual parties specifically, is I think you can power prep not just for dinner, but for other meals as well. So I think it flows well for people planning ahead, you know, and, and planning their meals, and um, really talking about how you can prep stuff for breakfast and lunch and dinner and snacks mm -hmm. even to make healthier meals, better choices for their families, save time in the kitchen. Um, so I'm excited to see mm -hmm. what everybody thinks of this because it's, I think it's going to be super fun. Mm -hmm. The challenges that I hear from my customers often is I don't have enough space to prep my food. So I think that with the quick prep food grader, it's going to alleviate um, that issue because it just sits in one spot and they can just crank through so many different um, you know, items to prep, veggies, like we said, cheese, so many fun things that they can prep and store right in the refrigerator, whether they're putting it in a leak-proof container, one of our glass prep bowls, or whether they're putting it in, in their large, you know, pool and serve. So I think that'll make their life a little bit easier so they can grab for those items quickly, throw them in their wok when it's time to cook. I definitely feel like our new spring line is going to help with enriching lives because it's going to allow each of us or whoever's preparing the meal to be able to spend that time around the uh, table with your family. Absolutely. You're going to be able to get in and out of your kitchen using these tools so much quicker because they're so easy and so quick to use. So I'm excited about that. And so we can spend that quality time around the table as a family. Mm -hmm. What I really love is that a lot of the products in the spring line are very family friendly. Mm -hmm. So if you have kids or grandkids that want to get involved with cooking and help, the quick prep food grater, the blade is completely covered. You, they can help crank the handle. Um, the bubble waffle maker, like you make the bubble waffle and then they can do the toppings. Mm -hmm. um, same with the batter mixer and dispenser. Mm -hmm. Put all the ingredients in. They can pump that and then put it into, you know, the vessel like the brownie pan or something like that so I think it helps with kind of sending the message that healthy doesn't have to be hard mm -hmm. you can do healthy That's fast good. you can do healthy fast right. so this will really help people think healthier meals and feel good about what they're putting on the table Absolutely. When I think of enriching families, that's exactly what I think of. Mm -hmm. it's not only is it about the memories, but it's really about enriching our lives through the food that we eat. So be able to have the tools to do it so quickly and make it so much fun, even if it's uh, a bubble waffle sundae, right? Mm -hmm. Something that you made with your own ingredients. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, you can get that done in your home and have control of the quality of the ingredients that you prefer in your food. I love that aspect about it. Mm -hmm. Me too. I think the line really offers that because it gives us the ability to make um, a lot of the prepackaged foods that are out there um, from scratch at home cheaper mm -hmm. and more quickly. So, cheese. <laughs> Having cheese without all the powdered cellulose <laughs> in it. Like, what a dream that is to bring that out quickly. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to pause here for just a second to see anybody have questions or comments about what you've, um, what they've talked about so far. So I know it's been like a lot of information in, the, in that first 10 minutes. Any comments? I'm just excited about the products. Okay. So fabulous. I, I really love their suggestions about virtual parties. I really think they're going to um, make my virtual parties rock. And I think if we take that to heart and follow a lot of their suggestions, I think these new products are going to really go fast in virtual parties. Yes, definitely. And, um, and should, um, should, should I, I'm so sorry. Like I, I have so much trouble every time I try to say your name. Um, should I said, um, I like the idea of prepping for the week. So love that. And so I'm sorry for butchering your name. So, okay, anybody else? Okay, and I'm excited about the Z pans. 
when I first seen him on that list that Tracy had posted, I was like, what the heck am I going to do with V-shaped pans? <laughs> so I'm going to work. Love it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to make homemade chips. Um, Jessica Herrera says, I like that you can cook for more. Um, we have a large family. Uh, um, also, the time table. I love that the walk is four courts. So um, that's one thing I forgot to mention, that how big it is, um, that you can really cook for a big family with the walk. Okay, anybody else? I see Tina and Carmen both have their hands raised. I wasn't sure if that was from a previous question and I just missed that. Um, and then Elizabeth also has her hand raised. It might've been from earlier. And so, okay. So, all right, let's see what, there's one we more. Go ahead. Can we do one prize before we go back? Yes, go for it. Okay, we are going to pick another one. This is going to be the fourth one. And is mm, Karen Wilson. Is she on? No? Got to no. be present to win. Okay, here's another name. Let's go with Jennifer Hutchinson. Yay, Jennifer! Is she on Are here? Are you on? She, hold on. She might not know how to unmute. This is the first time. She's on, yes. Yeah, okay. she was on earlier. Oh, there she is. She's unmuted. Yeah, Jennifer, congratulations. Yay, Jennifer. Are you on? She can't talk. For some reason, we can't hear her, but I can see her trying to talk to us. Okay. Oh, I see okay, you. if you can Jennifer. see her, then she's on. Yeah, good deal. Yay, Jennifer. Okay. So while we're here, so let me share with you guys. Um, I don't know if you can see, but so um, what I was cooking actually is my dinner. So um, doesn't that look yummy? I just wanted to share all that yummy vegetables and goodness in here. Mm. Um, also, um, I, um, I am a Weight Watchers member, and uh, this is seven points. Um, so anybody that does Weight Watchers, which is pretty good for a meal. So seven points for Weight Watchers. All right. So good. All right. Well, let's finish out the video. It's got about five minutes left. So go for it. I think now is the perfect time to offer the opportunity to others to join us at the table because we have all these amazing tools that we can offer their families at a discount or they can earn them for free. Um, I think getting people back around the table is what a lot of people struggle with. And I've heard so many consultants say that being a pampered chef consultant has made me a better cook. And um, I think the, the healthy trend and, and the getting families back around the table is not going anywhere. So when you can help someone else do that, and then they can help other people, we really are affecting so many people with that. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. <laughs> There's no limitations, which is one of the things that I personally love the most. And I think we're more relevant today than ever before. Well, how about the confidence that comes along with knowing your kitchen better, right? Knowing how to prepare meals and prepare your own food for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Not about for your kids, if your kids are in your yes. kitchen cooking with you. Yes. And they grow up with these life skills. That's why I absolutely love the Pampered Chef business that I have, because I feel like it's not just about me and what it does for myself, but it really transforms my entire family. And I also mm -hmm. think personally, I, I look back over the years and I think the training, the support, all of those things, the systems that the company has put in place, anyone with no experience could join this business and be totally successful. And I think there's just such a strong versatility right now with our Pampered Chef business, whether you do virtual parties or you do in-home parties or you do a combination of the both. And I love the fact that if someone is shy, and that's what happens with time, sometimes this, this person <laughs> yes, comes out of them and they're like, I think I'm gonna just take a step forward a little bit and get a little uncomfortable and see what happens, you know? And then they have fun. They have and they fun. keep doing it. Yes, this magical thing happens and it's super exciting to watch that. And that's the truth. So I think when I reach back to my previous host, because I'm going to be excited to tell them about these new products, let them know that I'm going to eat the llama cake. Well, guess what? I've got a game changer. I've got a whole other product that we can do that is going to wow your guests. And I guarantee it that most of them will have never heard of a bubble waffle. And I'm excited to show it in your home. 
I totally agree. I definitely will be reaching out to all of my customers to share what a fabulous line we have and how it solves so many different problems. But I will specifically reach out to all of my stoneware because that is such a big portion of my customer base to share the new additions to that collection. I think as I'm thinking about my past hosts and like repeat hosts, I, I think as we have those repeat hosts, we know what the, the thing is that they really love, whether it's stoneware or cookware. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a versatility of products mm -hmm. in the line. And I think the key that you said is I'm excited. Yeah. When you tell your ho past folks and your guests that you're excited, mm -hmm. they can't help but be excited about the new products. Too. Totally so. agree. I would say um, for anyone who's focused on earning that Disney trip for 2019, um, definitely setting your goals is going to be huge. You know, breaking those down into monthly goals is a huge part of being successful with earning a, a trip by the end of the year because uh, it's just going to keep you on track. I was going to say, and once you set the goal, tracking it, checking it every single month. I ride that incentive trip calculator <laughs> until I see that it's done. So I want to know exactly what my show average is, exactly how many shows I need, how many you know team members I need. I want it, I want that goal broken down, like you said, and I want to see it happening. Or how about the sheet? Does anyone print the sheet out yes. and post it yes. on the refrigerator yes. and it stays up yes. and center, right? Yes. And my, mm -hmm. my children actually go through and they color it in. <laughs> my husband and my daughter, when she comes home, and my son is constantly like, Mom, you know, look how much farther you have to go. So it becomes like a family event and it helps me stay focused and it helps me remember why I'm even doing this to begin with. So I really like the, it's especially for Disney. I could not agree more. Getting your family involved yes. with the goal for that year is going to keep you as the consultant so much more, so much more focused. So even at times when you don't want to do what you need to do to make that happen, you're going to look over at those kids and you're going to think about your family and you're going to have that extra push that you need. So I think it's a key factor to getting your family involved in what the goal is. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's also important to point out that if somebody has just started Pampered Chef and they missed the first few months of the year or the first six months, I don't know about you guys, but I have reached these trips within six months. And I'll tell you guys one thing, once you've earned a trip once, you will never There's miss another one. one. Amen. <laughs> okay. Was that not fun? It's, um, and I will tell y'all, um, this General Sal's chicken, every time we order at a restaurant, it's never hot enough. Um, but just so you know, my nose is running. <laughs> so you can um, cut down on the sriracha if you don't want it to be so spicy. Um, but if you like spicy, oh my gosh, it is good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was scarfing it down while we were watching that video. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'd ask you all to print out a, um, a little activity um, brochure. Now, um, the only problem is, um, actually, hold on, because we're going to come back. Let me share. Um, can somebody grab the link for me for the catalog and then, like, put that into the chat, the interactive catalog? Um, I think there's, is there a link? I think there is a link, right? It wasn't on the interactive page earlier today. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of how... Um, how we can do that so that's going to be hard to do but um let me come back to this actually because um it does go um a little bit here so um we're, we'll go through this slides for just a second um so all right so here we can see um all of the products okay can y'all see them now so here's all the products, um, so you can kind of take notice of anything um, on here. And we're gonna do a little activity, so you can kind of um, think through this. Um, I don't know if you wanna do a screenshot or what have you. Um, but you'll basically, um, I hate that, like, cause I thought that there, like the interactive link um, was there for the catalog. I'm trying to get into a future party and see if I can find it that way. No, but it was on the um, screen, but then also here, here, let me show you the catalog because you can see it here and kind of take note. We'll go through it really quickly. So this is the front of the catalog. I think this is the most beautiful catalog Cream for Chef has ever come out with. When look at it and see um, how fresh it just, I think it really inspires you to want to eat healthy. And so I think it's a beautiful cover, especially having the walk on the front cover. Um, 
And then here is a little bit, um, so there's the greater, as you see, like the, um, the power couple, they're calling it, the greater and the walk together, um, put to, um, those two together. And then we've got um, also going into um, our quick cooker. So you can see, um, so this is going to be um, a start fresh is kind of like a part one is like this where you got your cook, your quick cooker, your cookware, rock crop. Um, and so here you'll see um, a little bit more and prep ahead is a great idea for this spring and different ideas. Um, then this is what we are not going to do tonight, but I really encourage you to go back and watch Sarah Birchfield's show. I'll tell you that her show is much more powerful than mine. Um, and that is, um, and I'm okay with that. The, um, the cooking, cooking is not my forte. If y'all want to bake, make desserts, I can totally do that and do a much better job. But cooking dinner has never been good for me. Okay, hey, Melody. Yes. I'm gonna post the interactive catalog link in the chat. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You found it. Yay! Yes, it was in the email, the launch email that we got back. Okay, then. good. And I was like, I knew I saw it, and and I meant to have it handy. So thank you. So what I want you all to do is to grab that handy, um, have it handy to where because we're gonna use it and we're gonna do breakout sessions. Okay. So I'm going to divide you all into groups. Um. So you want to. Um, okay, so make sure everybody that possibly can grab that, that link that Jessica just posted while I do this. And while I do this also, <coughs> if you, um, we're going to have four different groups and I need, um, Audrey to do another drawing. And All right, here we go. Let's do this. Lisa Funk, is she on? No Lisa? There is a Lisa in the participants. I don't know the last Lisa name. Funk. Okay. Didn't get Lisa Funk. All right, let's try someone else. Let's go with... Reva Eubanks. I'm here, I'm here. I was gonna say Yay, Reva. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay, we got Reva. Yep. Yeah. Good deal. So yay. All right. So I'm gonna so um everybody, if you have your worksheet, we're gonna take 10 minutes and we're gonna go through this really quickly, okay? So 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back together. Um, to finish up and so here's what you're going to be doing is in your group um group one so breakout room one which um, room one is going to be oh i thought i had oh jessica wilson i'm putting you in charge of room one okay so that's fresh start part one and then um room breakout session two is going to be kelly beretta breakout session three is tracy the cates and breakout room four is going to be amanda morris and so, um, so group one is going to be start fresh part one. Group two is start fresh part two. Group three is grilling and outdoor entertaining. And group four is frozen treats and baking. So you're going to use the worksheet that um, I had everybody print out if you have it. So hopefully somebody in the group is going to have it. Um, and what you want to do is just talk about what of that product collection, how you can get bookings using those products. That's going to be the biggest thing. How are you going to get bookings? How are you going to share the opportunity? Um, so how will you use the catalog to highlight products that you don't own at your party? Even if you're a virtual consultant, you can still highlight the interactive catalog. Uh, what party theme stood out this season? Um, how would the index in your party? or um with you know with your business and how will you talk about the roundup from the heart campaign purpose opportunity and host rewards using pages 2 25 61 to 64 so ready all right so here we go i'm putting a timer for 10 minutes
All right. Do you all, um, does anybody need help getting to your room? Or, okay. <laughs> so it should have popped up on your screen to join a room. Mm -mm. Let me look and see. Um, yeah. You should have a message on your screen to go to your room. Um, yeah, I see. Heidi, Jody, let's see. Jody, did you have a message that came up on your screen to join? Or she looks like she's frozen. Heidi, are you there? Heidi and Jody, are you guys there? right now. I don't like being in charge. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to go to the catalog. Anyone, anything? I muted myself before I, <laughs> and then I started talking. Um, so I guess I'm not understanding. So it says three through nine. So would that be the page numbers we have to look at? Um. Yeah. Melody, can you, I don't have the worksheet. I couldn't print it. Yes. So on the worksheet, if you look at, um, it has pages three through nine, pages 10 through 11. Um, the Rock Croc Collection is page 12 to 14. Stoneware is 15 and 19. And Kitchen Essentials is 20 to 21. Um, so you just want, like the big thing is looking at it and thinking of what on those pages, um, you know, it's like the walk is an obvious one. So how can you use the walk to generate bookings? And so that's what you're kind of focusing on and how can you use it to share the opportunity and what recipes could you share? Okay. Okay. Anybody want to give it a shot? Well, obviously, with the walkie, we have the um, the healthy cooking, fast healthy cooking. Uh, running that um, that particular um, uh, um, I don't know what you call it post. I posted it and got a couple of bookings from that where I'm doing like kind of a cutlery party where we're talking. Uh, it was kind of like the springboard to um, using the mats and using the cutting and, and going into our forge sets because I'm I have always been a big fan of the forge. People just want to get together and have fun. Oh now Melody's joining us. She's crashing our party. <laughs> I just came in to check and see how things are going if anybody had any questions or if you're okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Amanda was in a different room and somehow she joined us but we're happy to have her. Well, um, it said Amanda was unassigned, <laughs> so, so I, I think what happened is either my, I think my internet uh, like went out, went out and okay. it made me leave and then stuck back. Well, I'll, I'll leave. I don't want y'all to think I'm crashing here. I just wanted to check and just make sure you didn't have any questions. Go. Bye. Bye. We're good. All right. <laughs> so. 45. Hey, look, there's Melody. Hey, I just, I'm stopping by to see if anybody had any questions or if y'all are good. Yeah, we do. What's the four questions you were wanting us to answer? So it's, so basically using um, the pages that are on this sheet where it was page um, 38 
41, 45, right. you know, all those. And kind of looking at, um, the big thing is how can you utilize those things to get bookings? What can you say during your parties? What can you share? How can you, like what, um, you know, for instance, um, the frozen treats, I'm assuming like without looking. Oh, uh, we're good there. Move to the next category. <laughs> okay. The kids. <laughs> thinking how can you use that to get bookings how can you use that to share the opportunity um so things like that messages that's what i want you to really be sharing and thinking through um so um that i mean and that was that was the major thing so does that make sense okay. yeah bookings and recruiting and how can you utilize the catalog and how can you utilize the new products and stuff to get bookings and share the opportunity Luna, sit. okay all right i'm gonna go okay. Go back to a different room. Okay, bye. <laughs> Don't make me delegate. I'll go ahead and share. Okay, so Stephanie, walk. Okay, so let's find another product. Who has another one that they wanna that they think would create a giant opportunity for our customers? Well, the, the quick prep grader. Okay, that works. <laughs> I, d I just wanted to share that my favorite page of the entire catalog is page 17 because I just love the stoneware. <laughs> That's what I was just looking at. It doesn't have to be for parties. I'm excited just to have that on my dining room table. What are you looking the at? Inter the, the new um, the picture is so beautiful. Entertaining set pieces. <laughs> Do you know? Did you get it? Like, am I? I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> How can you use no? And and this is totally total joking aside. And this isn't like about me. But how can you utilize that as, um, recruiting opportunity? Like the message, not just that one, but the messages throughout the catalog that are like that. I have to find that page. Somebody. You look on page 17, Jessica, and tell me. I'm getting there. How oh, I need to. Yes. Oh, look. I see. I see. I see what you did there. Melody is on that page, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but the point being is that um, the messages are throughout the catalog. That was total shocking to me, by the way. But the, um, the messages that they have used throughout the catalog um, talk about how, um, for instance, the page that, that with my picture on it says, I never thought that Pampered Chef would be a solution to our long time, or what does it say? I never thought that Pampered Chef would be a long time solution to our finances. And so think about those messages that are all throughout the catalog with different themes and how those messages you can use as a recruiting opportunity to share the business with others and saying, you know, this isn't just um, for pocket change. If you're looking for a career change or if you have debt that you want to pay off, you can totally do it through this. So. That's a really good point. The messages, there's also, they focus a lot on more diversity and there was something else that they really focused on in this catalog. I can't freaking think of what it was. I will say on um, the recruiting messages at the back of the catalog has Steve Drapowski on it and he, it's almost a whole page about him. And the great thing, the great thing about that is, um, is really appealing to men because um, a lot of men join our company. And so if you're not reaching out to men, um, then you're missing the mark because um, it's not just a women's business. And so make sure that, you know, you don't, um, don't judge just because somebody is a male, it doesn't mean that they're not interested. So keep that in mind. Okay. Yes. Hey, Melody. Yes. What exactly do we need to be accomplishing like what exactly do you want from messages this? for bookings and message for share the opportunity how will you use the catalog and that what's in the catalog to share the opportunity and how will you use it to generate interest in the um in booking and it, it doesn't have to be necessarily even in the catalog per se but more of just like products like what can you say about the walk to talk about bookings. What can you say about the quick cooker to generate interest in the business? You know, things like that. And those are the kind of things that we're looking for. Okay. okay. I was on a different path. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Good night. Okay. Um, okay, so 
right, I'm out. Anybody? Say bye. If I don't know how to leave. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just so y'all know, when you came back in, it, it muted you. So if you were unmute, um, you're now muted. So as you're coming back in, you'll be on mute. How come you only ended our group and not the other groups? I actually ended all four of the groups. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> so what happens is that it counts down. It's like 60 seconds. So you have a choice that you can either go ahead and exit or it'll just make you exit within a minute. We're back. The yeah, weird thing was in our group, Jennifer Hutchinson could see us and we could see her, but she heard another group and it wasn't our group. <laughs> so she was seeing us and seeing our pictures, but she was hearing another group. So that was really weird. Yeah, that is really weird. So can I ask you a question real fast? Those tumblers, are they inserts? You know, like some of them, if you drop it, it breaks. These don't break. No, no, I've, I've dropped them. They do not break. Okay. Okay. And Great. they fit in the cup holder in the car too. Oh, well. <laughs> but um. not with wine. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, Tracy. Coffee. I had to take coffee the other day. No <laughs> coffee. Okay, that's such great news for a wine tumbler, Kelly. <laughs> Does it have a lid? Yes. So and the lid's dishwasher safe. Is the bottom um like slip resistant? Is that what it is? It's yes. Okay. It's a well, it has a place a straw can fit through too. Mm. Wine with a straw. Um. Absolutely. <laughs> That's for when you take it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to share a tale from the crate. That's what we used to call it because you know when you go to kitchen shows, you had a crate. So um, I went to a cooking show and this was several years ago and the host and all of her friends were drinking. I don't know if it was fajitas and margaritas or I don't know what it was, but she was drinking vodka. Okay. So she was drinking like seven up in vodka and serving all her friends. And she was just keep on giving them and giving them and she was happily pouring. So I, when she offered it to me, said, no, thanks. And then when it was time to leave, she said, let me make you a drink to go. <laughs> I'm thinking like, a okay. I get out to my car and I take a sip and it's like <laughs> oh in your God. face. <laughs> Who does that? Who gives somebody a bunch of vodka to drive home? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like pouring it out in the grass and going, but I thought, that was, thought of that with um, Kelly drinking coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> so, right, another prize. How many do we have left? Prizes. Uh, five. Oh, so let's do two real quick, and then we're okay. Gonna... Let's do two. Here's one. We're pulling it out. Christy Bentley. She was here. Did we lose her? Are you still here, Christy? Christy. I'm looking. Oh no. 
we lost about 10 people. So, okay. Oh, no. All right, well, can, go, go again. Okay, here we go again. Um, let's go with Tracy McKinley. He's here, yay! Okay. Great, awesome. And how about Jessica Wilson? Yay, she's, <laughs> she's a director. She has oh. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, you guess uh, we'll pick someone else? <laughs> yeah. I'll give it away. Okay, we'll pick someone else. Let me see. Um, let's see. Shannon McCoy. She was here. To I'm here. Yay, She's yay. here. Yay, Shannon. We got gotcha. you. All right. One more. One more. Let's do one. Um. Kathy Beasley? He was here. I don't think Kathy is on. Okay. Let's try. Oh, wait, I'm double checking. <laughs> okay. She was on earlier. I remember seeing her. Yeah. Kathy, are you still with us? Her name's not on here. No, I don't think she's on. Oh, no. Okay. How about Lena Meal? Leanna. Le I'm sorry, Leanna. Leave it to me to screw a name. <laughs> Leanna Neal. See Leanna. Oh my word. No. Uh oh. Okay, let me pull another one. Um, 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 um. Sherry Severt. Severt. I'm here. Yeah. Yay, Yay. Sherry. Okay. Yay. Yay. I didn't say your name correctly, did I? It's Severt. Sievert. Well, that was too oh. easy, right? <laughs> All right. I want to walk. My husband wants to walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, all right. So you guys, all right. Consultants never pay full price for new products. And so December and January free for all achievers, your new products are on its way. And you can also order the new products starting on February 5th. So tomorrow at 50% off. So, um, if you didn't earn them for free, you can purchase them at half price. And so, all right. So um, on February 5th, cu um, customers connected to March parties are going to be able to see the new products. Um, February 5th through 28th, customers connected to February parties will see the fall and winter products. And then March 1st through 15th, um, customers connected to February parties can still purchase um, the, the fall and winter. And then March 1st is when everything goes live. And so some quick updates. There's a new customer connection email tool where you can design it. Oh, you can custom your own image. Super excited about that. So that shows you what was there, what's there now. So that is amazing news. And I want to talk about how to have a successful February. Oh, I forgot. I was, there was one other video I was going to share. Mm, okay. So, um, so I want to share actually, um, I'm debating. I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to post that video onto, um, consultants corner. Um, I mean, not on consultants corner on, um, on a team Eagle page. So that would be the, like, um, the video from Jean and Jesse. And so everybody raise your hand and say, I promise I will watch it ASAP. Okay. And that way it'll save you all time from having to watch that video, but did want to share, um, from booking, selling and recruiting. So Tracy has some words to share with you guys about February. Okay, so bookings for February. Um, I was thinking about bookings and I was thinking about this time of year and I went back and I looked at last February um, to see what I did and to see how that set me up for a successful 2018. Um, and I know it sounds weird that one month can set you up for success, but let me just tell you that February is the month that set me up for success. And I know that it can do the same for you. Um, and it all came down to bookings. Um, I know you guys have heard this before, but what you do now affects your calendar in 90 days. So you don't want to take the month of February off. You don't want to say, oh, you know what? I've got enough bookings. I'm just going to wait until March and sell the new products. February is an amazing month because you want to make sure that you are going strong through the month of February so that you have those leads to get the bookings and new recruits for the upcoming spring months. 
Um, plus in the summer, normally June and July is free for all. So if you're not booking in February, that's going to affect your business in June and July. I know that sounds so far away, but it really does. You don't want to take blocks of time off because it's going to just, it's going to throw off your whole system. Um, so getting those bookings for February is so important. Um, and I can tell you this, that the reason that I earned Hawaii was because of February. I know that might sound crazy, but I'm telling you, February was a month that I said, but I'm earning that trip. I want to go to Hawaii. How am I going to do it? I need bookings. So I made sure that I overbooked my calendar. And you know what happens when you overbook your calendar? The next month, you're going to have the same amount of parties and you're not overbooking yourself because overbooking becomes your new comfort zone. So when you are adding bookings to your party, let's say right now you're doing two parties a week. If you stretch yourself and book three parties a week, that's going to become your new comfort zone. You are not only stretching yourself outside of your comfort zone, but you're moving the comfort zone. And when you do that, that is when the magic really starts to happen. So when it comes to getting bookings, um, I am one that I'm always like, just one more, just one more. Um, I always want just one more for each week. Um, and I keep pushing myself to new limits. And it's just amazing when that happens in your business. So when it comes to a booking, you want to make sure that you're offering the booking to somebody in a way that's appealing to them. So it doesn't come off salesy. You want to make sure that you're making it about the potential host. It's all about them and what you can do for them. Um, I always tell them, um, I'll tell them, I'll make some kind of a connection because um, I've already built a little bit of a relationship with them. So I'll say, I know that you love stoneware and I know that you've been adding to your collection. February is stoneware month. We can get you two pieces of stoneware at 60% off. I have February 18th open. How does that sound? So um, just kind of something like that. Um, you really want to make it about them because then they're going to feel important. You don't want to just make it generic because then it kind of takes that <clears throat> relationship out of it. So it's all about the relationship. Um, and I can post some words in this group if you want me to post some messages that I've sent recently. Um, I'll just post a couple different samples and you'll kind of see um, they're all different, but I'm still kind of relaying the same message. When it comes to a booking, you always wanna offer your next available date. So if you're not happy with what February looks like, you don't wanna be offering March dates. If you're not happy with February, you need to be offering those February dates. You need to say, I have an opening February 11th. How does that sound? Especially with the virtual world, um, it, it only takes a few minutes a day on their part and you're going to do most of the work. So um, there's really no reason to, to switch a date. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're offering your next available date and don't move on to March until February is where you want it to be. Um, because like I said, this is going to give you leads for the spring, which is going to lead into the summer because you don't want to fall short when it comes to those summer months and we're all earning free products again because that's so exciting. You don't want to be short on bookings. You want to say, you know what? I had a strong February, so I know I'm going to have a strong summer. Um, one month leads into another and you just want to make sure that you are not moving on to the next until the current month is full. So does anybody have any quick questions? Like I said, I'll post exact messages that I use. Um, in the group, but I don't want to take the time to read them because I think we're kind of running short on time. <laughs> now we're actually, um, I had actually allotted two hours for the meeting that I was planning on seeing, not going the whole two hours. So, um, what about, um, everybody like group one, two, three, and four, the, um, leader, group leader that was in those groups, what booking ideas did you come up with? Like what was your hottest tip or idea surrounding bookings for each of those groups. So group one was Jessica, your group, what did you come up with for bookings? Like what was a product or a, um, a way to talk about bookings? Honestly, on the quick cooker page, um, what we actually accomplished, <laughs> um, but the quick cooker page, it has the comment about your wish list. And I think that that is a really helpful thing throughout the catalog when you just have customers scrolling through it and they see oh add this to your wish list or have you started a wish list 
and that's just something for them to go back to and be like, oh, I could book a party. I have this wish list, and I actually have a really big one. I should just book a party and give it a try. Great. Love that. What about group two? Who was um, group two was? I got it. Um, group two, we had sheet pans, cutlery, the cooks, <clears throat> the cooks tools, and cutting tools, um, everyday essentials, snacking, and most loved products. These are a lot of the gadget stuff, the microwave stuff, um, obviously all the knives and the pairing knives. So we are coming up on graduation and wedding season. And all those items make fantastic gifts for new grads because they're great for um, the dorm cooking, microwaves, stuff like that. And then it's all the stuff to stock a brand new kitchen and that's what your newlyweds are. So it's a great, those are great booking tools for getting both of those for parties. Um, the cutlery, the forged is obviously the more expensive items. So offering it at half price is fantastic. Audrey actually used um, cutlery and turned it into a virtual party theme with all the different cutlery items and um, all the different cutting prep tools and the cutting boards and the mats and all that other stuff. So that was a fantastic idea. The pairing knives that everybody absolutely loves are still our roundup item. So those are also great incentives as well and great add-ons for your parties. And also can be used as a booking incentive. Um, free pairing knife when you book a party for your host. And then the snacking stuff is going to be great for people with kids. Um, people are trying to eat healthy, taking stuff on the go. It's the popcorn maker and the snack bar maker and all that other stuff too. Okay. And Tracy was group three. So we actually talked about um, weddings and bridal registries and we said a lot of the same stuff that Kelly had said. Um, so we kind of tackled that and we were talking about outdoor entertaining um, and we were talking about Stephanie Walker had mentioned how just making it fun and I absolutely love that idea because no matter what product you're talking about make it fun and really connect with it and that's just going to help the overall theme of whatever party you're doing whether it's virtual or um, or a cooking show um, we also talked about the accessories for the quick cooker and how going back to your past guests who, or, or even past hosts who have purchased a quick cooker because now we have even more available. So it's the perfect opportunity to reach out and it can start as a customer care call, um, just informing them about these extra products, but you never know where it might lead. It might lead to a booking, recruit lead. Um, you just never know. And that's, that's what we talked about. Love it. Okay. And Amanda of group four with frozen treats and baking. Yeah. I, we talked about like a, a Sunday bar kind of a uh, theme for a show with the waffle pan maker and the batter dispenser and um, all that stuff. Whipped cream, make the ice cream, have the rock rock stone to do cold stone on. Um, and then the, the host rewards that we could think about offering to people is letting them know about the special sets on the back of the catalog that are only available to hosts. And then also um, making sure you're telling them the price that they'll pay when they host a party and get it for 60% off because that makes a huge difference. Like on the images for this month on the stones, you can get the deep covered baker for 35 bucks. When you say it like that, people are going to want it. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree there. Okay, any other, any questions on booking or um, bookings or anything that Tracy shared um, with her little segment or any of that our leaders just shared from their groups? Okay, thank you all for being, leading those. And so, all right, so Amanda is going to share why February is such an amazing time to share the opportunity. Okay, so February is an amazing time because we're only one month in and you still have tons of time to earn a trip to Disney for your family. Um, also, you can, when you meet your first goal of 1250 in your first 30 days, you can get the Rock Rock Four Quart Slow Cooker Set um, and that's $169 value, which is amazing. 
Um, and you can also earn thereafter 100 PC dollars for every 1250 you had in sales in your first 90 days, and that's unlimited. I always make sure and say that it's unlimited. Um, and then also, if you are a really strong seller, you can go for excellence awards and end up getting rewards, um, which are, I guess, a Visa debit card starting this year for, for achieving excellence in sales and recruiting and other things as well. Uh, and then, of course, also monthly recognition. And if you are recruiting, you're obviously going to be making more money because you're going to be building a team under you. And that is really how you get trips. You forgot to mention the recruiter offer. Oh, and then it's the right recruiter offer <laughs> this month. Did it, I don't know. It, like, I haven't even seen that. I don't know what you're talking about. You say it. Go, Jessica. Fine, I will. Um, <laughs> an awesome thing. So you get PC bucks in your first 90 days. Okay, it doesn't really happen after that. You get 30 PC bucks when you recruit somebody and they become qualified. But in February, when you recruit somebody and they submit their 1250 in their first 30 days, you get 100 PC bucks. Not just them, you get them. So to recruit that is awesome because after your 90 days they're gone nobody told me that yes okay so that is super super exciting and so we have a goal as an organization this month to share the business and um, with 50 people so to add 50 team members to our team this month and also for the year this cute little box is our goal is to fill this box with stars and you can see if you can see there's stars in there so for each new consultant that joins our team this year so for the entire year a star with their name and a star with your name as the recruiter is going to go in this box when you promote to director a heart is going to go in the box and so um so i'm super excited because our goal is to have 500 of these stars in this box this year and so it'll be full the whole um box is our key um, or that's our goal so this month though 50 you guys so sharing the opportunity with everybody that you can possibly imagine and so all right so then also um, earning a trip to Disney World there's four ways you can earn this trip you guys and if you're just getting started we just just started earning the trip so you definitely can earn it too um, build your team you earn 3,000 points for each recruit you get one point for each dollar that you sell and when you develop a director under you, you earn 6,000 points. And for each quarter that you consistently sell $2,000 a month, um, you'll get 1,000 points. So for January, February, March, and we earn 1,000. Um, April, May, June, and then July, August, September, and October, November, December. So you can earn up to 4,000 um, that way. So this is an amazing opportunity to go to Disney, and it's a trip for four you guys a trip for four and if you're like me and you have more than than two kids you can buy your other kids in so and it's it's not so bad so um love it love it love it so all right so this is what amanda was alluding to about excellence awards there's still lots of time to earn excellence awards you can earn it in sales you can earn it in recruits um you can earn it in developing leaders and you can earn it in the organizational sales volume. We already have two of our team members that have earned excellence awards. Stacy Wyckoff has earned it in sales. Amanda has earned it in developing leaders. And when you earn multiple categories, you get more um, or like a bigger Visa gift card. And as you can see, 350 for one, um, 200, two, or 500 for two, um, 650 for three or 800 for four and so this goes from June 1st of last year through May 31st of this year so um, so there's still lots of time so if you're not sure you can ask your director to walk you through that so now we want to do some monthly recognition for our top sellers and recruiters and so I want to congratulate our number one seller in our organization Stacy Wyckoff with seven thousand sixty six dollars and ninety two cents Number two was Ch Shannon McCoy with six thousand seven seventy one eleven. Ann Motter with sixty two seventy five. Mike Petrovol with um, fifty four twenty seven. Kelly Beretta with forty eight forty three. Tracy the Case with forty seven 
28, and Amanda Morris with 46.54. And so all of these earners um, or achievers were um, earned the top level of commission with over 4,000 in sales. You earn the top level of commission, which is 25%. And when you hit your 15,000 career sales, you get a 2% pay raise, which bumps it up to 27%. And then you earn even more when you're a director. And then our top recruiters, Angela Tovar, Amanda Morris, Tracy Cates, Jessica Wilson, Carrie Benning, Stacey Cox, Alicia Beery, um, Lee, it's behind my, um, oh my gosh, it's behind my screen and I can't see it um, to move my thing. Okay, ah, I went the wrong way. Okay, um, where was it? it um, Lee and Heather and and then um, me also for recruiters and I'm proud that I can't say the last name since I'm like, um, Heather Coffey and Leanne Creech. Thank you, golly. Thanks, Tracy. All right. So it's like, it's right behind the screen. I couldn't move the screen. So, all right. So I want to share with you guys. Um, so our, um, so this is a picture of our leader team. And so I wanted to share with you guys as um, a leader in the company, you not only earn your trips faster, you also get all the new products for free. So when you promote to director, you will get all the new products that we just showed to you. You also earn a higher commission. They say um, that directors earn, I think, 50% more than consultants do. And, um, and so it's a great way to earn a, um, a lot more money and to also make it a difference in others' lives. And so this opportunity is so incredible and you absolutely can't pass it up. So just imagine that you work a full-time job and that you've been there a month and the boss comes in and says, listen, we're going to give you a raise, a $500 bonus, and our entire new product line if you do this. So here is our Team Eagle vision board. So this vision board, you guys, is not about me. It's about us and where we are going. And so this is all about us sharing the business with others, changing lives, getting products into that many more kitchens, and helping people prepare meals for their families, and bringing them around the table, which doesn't really happen anymore. So we're looking to add more directors to our vision board. There are currently 60 executive teams in the company right now, and that is what our goal with Team Eagle is um, by April 1st. To achieve this goal, we need two more first-generation directors, and so that's directly under me. But we aren't stopping there. Many of our directors are also working, so on your teams, um, to build executive teams as well. So ask your director where you are in the structure and um, how you can help. And so our next stop is senior executive team, which means that we are looking for more directors on all levels. So if you're interested in adding your name to our vision board, send me a message and, um, and that you're going to share this business with others. But don't feel bad if being a director is not something that you're interested in. It's okay because each and every one of you are important to our organization. And if you're doing one or two shows a month and that's what works for you and your family, then we are thrilled and happy and proud to have you as part of our team. But if wanting more is something that you're interested in, I really encourage you to join our director bound program that is starting on February 13th. Reach out to your director and tell them that you want to join that program you are going to love it and it's going to help boost your confidence and give you the skills that you need um, to further your business. And so, all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Let's finish up with a couple of drawings. We have a couple more drawings to do and then we will end the, um, the call. But thank you guys again for um, being here with us. So, all right. Audrey, take Perfect. It. Okay, here we go. The next name drawn, Angela Tovar. Oh. She already won a prize. Yeah, she won a prize. Oh, did she? Oh, okay. That yeah. must have been the first one when I was not on, right? Oh, yes. It, and Michelle Potts also won one before you jumped on. Michelle Potts? Okay. Yes. All right. Let me pull another one. Here we go. How about uh, Denise Jameson? Denise Jameson, are you still on? No? No? Okay. Here's the next name. Uh, wait, Christine. wait, wait, stop. Denise is here. Denise is here. <laughs> Denise, Denise is here. yay, Denise, Denise is, is there. Here. Perfect. Okay, we've got Denise. Perfect. 
and let me pull another name here. Jessica Herrera. Yay! I'm here. Yay, Jessica. Yay. That's it. Awesome. That's all 10 then. So good. All right. So congratulations to our winners. Um, so we will be getting our prizes out to you in the mail. And um, also I will be, um, I'll be posting this, um, the video for the, the closing with um, Jean and Jesse. And so watch for that. I'm going to post it here in just a second, but you guys have a great night and we will see you soon.